Hey guys, this is Shantae with Simply Shantae Renee. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for your continued love and support. I am on a mission to get caught back up on my videos. So today's video will actually be a little bit of budget planning. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of my video, please continue to watch. Guys, so I am just a little bit behind uh, with getting all of my planners done for the month of June. So in today's video, I'm going to be setting up my budget monthly for the month of June. I am currently in a Erin Condren monthly planner. I do love it. I switched to this in, I want to say April of this year, and I have absolutely loved it. I did kind of go ahead and do my kind of notebook section already because I just didn't want to get too behind. But the portion that I do like to share on camera, I haven't done yet because I wanted to share with you guys. So basically what I do in this monthly layout here is just put what my regular like household bills or what I consider to be household bills. So we'll go through, put those in, put some cute stickies in, and that will be our plan for the month of June. Okay. So I have here my little notebook that I keep to kind of remind me of what I want to look out for in the month of June. So kind of like what I what I consider to be my household bills. So like mortgage, my gym membership, guys, even though I haven't been there <laughs> in a little bit. Um, but I still think it's important and I am still getting into to workout mode. I also like to put down any birthdays that I have for the month or any special um, things that I have for the month. And then I also like to put down things for church um, as well. And then I went on and mapped out what I need to get out of the bank for my weekly um, envelope stuffing. So I do a 52 week challenge and the challenge that I'm doing is just whatever week that is of the year, I am putting that amount of money within a um, envelope. So I will try to share that with you guys soon as well. Sometimes, guys, life happens and I just don't get a chance to share it. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I do have already kind of pre-planned my budgeting stickers here or uh, my bill pay stickers here. These are from Thanks Sis. They are printables. I did print them out and kind of shrink them down to size to fit the planner. The actual kit that I got this month is really small. And <laughs> before I started filming, I was like, I probably am going to go back to the one I had previously because I just liked all the pieces and components. So in my back layout this month, I just ended up using washi tape. I didn't even use a full kit. Um, but I realized that I don't get the date dots with this kit. And um, I will use the top portion of this, but the bottom portion, because of the way I do my budgeting, I really don't necessarily have to have these stickers down here. So, unfortunately for me, I printed out June and July already, but I'll just work with it. And then in um, August, I will find a different kit. Sorry if the camera is, or if, if something is shaking, because I feel like as I'm looking on my screen that I see shaking and I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so that's that kit. And then I am going to be using the Happy Planner budget book just for something to mark my paydays for the month. So let me just go ahead and get the headings put on here. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, it is the weekend when I am currently filming this. So I'm just trying to get stay on task and get things done today. I never really know with these where the actual... <laughs> Uh, where it's supposed to start. So I kind of picked blue to more so kind of match what was already going on in the planner for this month. So I didn't realize when I ordered this, because I ordered it on sale, that I probably, I guess you can get this without all the other decor, which is fine, but I probably would prefer just a, a blank. Oh, almost tore one of my little sheets. I don't know. For some reason, my cutter must get stuck or not cut as well in the same spot because I feel like I struggle with that with a lot of my sticker sheets. Anyway, um, so I guess I could have got, you know, more of one with a more of a blank slate, but I didn't. Um, so I've been trying to kind of pick colors that are a little bit close to what the color scheme is already. 
and I still can't figure out <laughs> where this really goes. If it goes above the month, if it goes below the month, I don't know. So, but yeah, I liked it because it was a smaller, a smaller kit, but then I realized after the fact that it is probably a little bit too small for my liking, but I already had printed and cut it and cut it. So I was like, let me just go ahead and use it. Got that off just a little bit. And I think I probably would have liked putting that other section above more, putting this section above. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this here on this side. And then I realized that it kind of covers up the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it really doesn't provide those in this particular kit. So that's another reason why. Not that it makes or breaks it, but I really would like it <laughs> to have the, you know, days of the week on there as well. So let's go ahead and just get this done. I'm so happy to be getting this done because I'm just one of those people where I'm like, oh my God, I just want to get it done. So I was like, I'm still going to record it and, you know, have it done. I do realize with my budget planning, it is something that I do try to look at, you know, on a weekly basis, but I may have to start doing some of the planning portion of it a couple of weeks before because getting down to the end of the month, I just have so many planners that I want to share with you guys that I don't want to get behind. So I do try to schedule um, my regular videos, but sometimes these monthly ones are extra ones for me. And so I'm going to have to start incorporating that somehow. So that's how that looks. Um, and then I don't have any dots to cover up things. I just didn't even bother to look for them. Um, I actually have one little piece here that I'm just going to go ahead and put right here too, because I won't need it for the month. That way I can use that on up. Um, cause these are just days here that are from May. There we go. Something about making your planner look, look cute. Um, that just makes me want to come look at them. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go, like I said, I'll go ahead and use the days that are already here. I didn't want to use, I had some payday stickers here, but they are kind of big. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I feel like, and don't <laughs> like them. I kind of wish. So these, I just, I just don't like how it looks. Um, so I'm just going to choose something else to put in place for my paydays for the month of June. And I was thinking about either these little paper clips here or these things. I think I'm feeling the paper clips more, even though they're big. It's just, I don't know, it's something about them. So paydays for the month of June are June 9th. Uh, maybe I'll just, I don't know. They are big too, but I do like them. So paydays for this month are June 9th. And then also June 23rd. Okay. So that lets me know those are my paydays for the week. And then I'm just going to go through dropping stuff all over the place. So what I have here in my little tiny um, micro happy planner is my bills. So for the first, um, I do like these because they're an array of colors. Um, I just wish I would have printed more because I already need to print more. So I'm gonna put this here. Well, the first is for my mortgage. Um, also, my gym membership. You guys, I have fallen off the wagon. I do still try to put something in my planner weekly if you watch my planner videos, just to kind of help me to, to remember to go. Um, I do try to stay active in other ways, but I really do need to get back hardcore in the gym. Um, and I do have a treadmill at home as well. Um, that I just have been underutilizing. So electric bill is going to be on the third. Uh, let's see, here we go. 
Uh, I am doing some cleaning in the background, guys. So, any like dishes washing and stuff like that. So, if you hear anything, that's what that is. Okay. Um, trash is not due this month, but uh, so I didn't make a sticker for that. And my home warranty is on the 10th. I feel like I struggle when I try to use tweezers to pull stuff off for whatever reason. <laughs> so, because I'm over struggling to get this off. I just think these little stickers are so cute, though, and they're like the perfect size. I write pretty huge, so I don't get a chance to write off a full word, but I can understand what I'm saying. And then the 15th is for my water bill. You guys, I have really been loving um, watching all of these creative budget planners. I mean, I'm just in amazement of what people do. Um, 16th is for my power bill. And I just love learning. And so I hope someone is learning from my channel and I love to be inspired by other people as well. And then the 19th is for my car. And... The 28th is for my phone. Here, 28th is for my phone. Yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like I struggle sometimes with putting the stickers down properly with the actual <laughs> tool. All right, I feel like I had a few more and 28th is also for insurance. See, I feel like that is still crooked. Uh, okay, I won't worry about it. Um, and then also the 30th is for my internet. So those are my monthly, like I said, what I consider household bills. And then a couple of other things that I want to make sure that I write down that I'm looking for or that I am, um, that will have some financial bearings. So I just want to make sure that I'm kind of keeping abreast of those things. So I do have a planner conference the weekend of, uh, well, <laughs> Duh. It is already passed, but I do like to kind of just put things here. So the planner conference was, why was I going to put CPC like it was the Chicago planner conference? Not into November. So the planner conference was, I'm just going to put dream, uh, DPH for Dream Plan Hustle. It was actually, see, when you don't have the days of the week. <laughs> It was actually on Saturday of last week. Um, so I had that and I actually went down on that Friday. And then I also want to put down right in church. I'm gonna make me some, actually I have some church stickers that I didn't pull out. But I do like to bless my church and give financially. So I'm just gonna write that here because sometimes I realized that in my budgeting, there were things that I was doing that I was not necessarily writing down. So I wasn't fully capturing um, everything, okay? So I have church there and I just kind of give my one lump sum of offering for whatever offerings that I'm giving on Sunday. So that's why I specifically just put it on Sunday. And then I am in um, a few, kind of like a birthday club and Another little thing that a couple of me and my close friends do, and that is a monetary thing once a month. So, um, Girls' Day is on the first Friday of the month, so I'm going to put that there, even though I already paid it. And the Birthday Club uh, products is on the first Saturday of the month, so and I've already paid that just to keep myself abreast and then we have a birthday club birthday on the 21st just gonna shorten it oh no 
Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Okay. And then we have a birthday club birthday on the 24th. And so basically, if you're new here, I think I explained this last one. So um, me and a couple of my friends have what we call a girl's day. Um, we used to go out to eat every month and then it just kind of got a little bit um, overwhelming with all the response because most a lot of us are in the couple same couple of like social circles and so it was just a lot of stuff and so we just decided to narrow it down to just blessing whoever's month it was to blessing them with the amount that we do for the month um, and that way they can fully just have the money do what they want to do so what we used to do is um, once a month, if it was your day, you hosted kind of taking the group out to eat or just hosting something at your house. And then um, the people that were coming to attend would bring you a certain amount of money of products. Um, so whether that be tissue, whether that be paper, paper towels. So it's really just kind of a way to socialize with some of our close friends, but also to eat and be a blessing as well. And so this year we just decided to just do the monetary thing because we see each other anyway all the time. <laughs> well, it felt like it. And now it seems like I don't see them much at all. So hi guys, if you're watching my video. Anyway, um, and then there's another group that I'm in that kind of does the same thing. We don't meet at all, but we give towards birthdays and products for the year. So it's pretty fun, but I do like to account for it. And so I wanted to put that there. And then in general, I have a couple of birthdays that I want to be abreast of, which I have a birthday for my god brother. I want to be able to get him something. And then I have a birthday for a nephew. And then a birthday for another nephew okay so i have the birthdays in there and then is that it i think that might be it you guys so you may wonder is this all the bills that i have for the month no i do have more however just in this monthly section i just wanted to focus on the household bills any other debt i kind of um put in the back section of my planner. It works for me, so I will continue to do it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope you consider subscribing if you did enjoy this video and staying for more content that I will have up and posted on this channel. Um, as I always like to end my videos, continue to be fearless, be intentional, and always strive to walk in excellence.